Now that you have learned the basics of prompt engineering, let's move on to an advanced level of this field. In this section, we'll explore more complex topics and techniques that will help you become an expert in prompt engineering. In this section, we'll dive into the more advanced topics of prompt engineering. We will see how to handle different type of prompts, including text-based prompt, image-based prompts, and audio-based prompts. We'll also cover advanced techniques for fine-tuning pre-trained large language models and best practices for data pre-processing and cleaning along with deploying prompt engineering models in production and ethical consideration that you should mention in prompt engineering. So in the previous section, we'll see how to do a prompt engineering model using text-based prompt. So prompts can come in many different prompts such as images, audios or combination of both. In this section, we'll explore how to handle different type of prompts. For just an instance, let's say you want to build a prompt engineering model that can identify different breeds of dogs from pictures. In this case, we'll need a, to train a model on data set of images of dogs with each image labeled with its corresponding breed. We can then use the pre-trained model to identify the breed of a dog in the new image. Let me just show you an example. As you just see on my screen, that it is a pre-trained model that shows how to do the uh, dog breed identification by using the pre-trained model of the Keras library. So in this uh, Kegel notebook, we use the many kind of uh, a pre-trained model like uh, ResNet 50, BGG 16, Exception, Inception, along with logistic regression as well. And uh, with do all the like kind of uh, pre-processing and then building the machine learning models around them will able to do the uh, classification or identify or recognize the dog breeds in those images as you just see that in the images that the label is what and the rasnet 50 uh, predicts the breed of, of the dog on the basis of the uh, machine learning model that we just built by using the rasnet 50 and same with happen with the VGG 16 uh, pre-trained model as well and same with happen with the exception and inception as well and along with the logistic regression and in this logistic regression we use the multinomial logistic regression and in that way it is also uh, going to check for the same thing. So in the previous section we learned how to fine tune pre-trained large language models for prom prompt engineering. In this section, we'll explore advanced techniques of fine-tuning them. For instance, one technique is called multitasking learning, which involves training a model on multiple related tasks simultaneously. This can help the model learn more robust representation that can generalize to different users. As you can see on my screen as well, I built a like kind of a Python function for that multitask learning as well it used the cross entropy loss and the uh, atom optimizer to optimize the loss as well and then it uh, just take the data from the data set that is just built here it is small kind of uh, data set with the source text and the target test as well and with all the kind of data pre-processing like uh, tokenization kind of thing after that it just use the forward pass to compute the loss then do the backward pass to update the parameters and in that way it learns simultaneously on multiple features on multiple attributes as well and the next uh, technique is called distillation so distillation which involves training a smaller model to mimic the behavior of a larger model this can make the smaller model more efficient and run very faster than the larger model you just see on my screen as well i also build a uh, function of the uh, distillation as well it is also uh, doing the same thing but in the section of the training loop it takes the large model and the small model and then run the forward pass on the larger model as well and then the smaller model as well and then compute the distillation loss on, on the both of them and when it is doing the backward pass it update the parameters so in this way it is using the larger model but it is running with the high speed because it used smaller part of that larger model as you just see that in the uh, when i just run the program i just create a very smaller uh, model for the 
distillation as well and get it from the pre-trained model that is called T5 small. And then I just pass that model into my uh, distillation function. So the quality of that data used to train from engineering models is crucial to the success. So we'll cover the best practices for data processing and data, data cleaning. So one important step is tokenization, which involves breaking down the text into smaller units, such as words or subwords. This can help the model understand the meaning of the text more accurately. Another important step is normalization, which involves converting the text to standard format. For instance, converting all text to lowercase and can help the model avoid confusion between the words that, that are spelled the same but have different meanings. So as you just see on my screen, I have do the uh, text uh, uh, normalization and uh, tokenization as well. You just see this is the normalized text. So now next thing is how to deploy these prompt engineering models in production. So once you have built a prompt engineering model, you need to deploy it in production to make it accessible to the vast majority of the users. So one option is to use the TensorFlow serving which is a framework for serving machine learning models in production environment. Another option is Flask. You can build a web framework for building APIs. It can be used as a, a server for machine learning models. As you can just see that I also build a kind of a Flask app that is a AI powered app by using the open AI uh, API that can generate stories as well. So you can just also check that video in the I button as well how I built an AI powered app and then deploy it in, in the production. You can do, use the same thing to deploy these prompt prompt engineering apps. So the next thing is the ethical consideration in prompt engineering. So prompt engineering models have the potential to influence decision making in many areas such as education, healthcare and finance. Therefore, it is important to consider the ethical implications of prompt engineering. So in this section, we will see what are the ethical implications in prompt engineering like bias, fairness and pro privacy. So for, for instance, bias can occur when the data used to train the model is not representative of the whole pop population as well. This can lead to unfair and uh, discriminatory, discriminatory outcomes. Therefore, it is important to ensure that the data used to train prompt engineering models is diverse and inclusive. So let's just move to a, another topic that is called practical exercises for advanced pro prompt engineering models. So the first thing is handle different type of prompts. So you have to like master the prompt engineering so you are able to handle the different type of prompts including text-based, image-based and audio-based prompt. You will learn how to pre-process these prompts and fine-tune pre-trained models to generate appropriate output. And next thing is to advance techniques for fine-tuning pre-trained models because when, when you know how to pre-process the all type of prompts then you then you need to pre-process it according to the uh, pre-trained large language models as well so 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 you just need to know that how to fine-tune the pre-trained large language models including multitask learning and uh, distillation and self-supervised learning techniques as well to increase the accuracy and performance of your prompt engineering models and the next thing you will see that uh, you do the data pre-processing cleaning including that tokenization and normalization and data augmentation as well so that you can pass a clean data to your uh, prompt engineering models and so you know that about all the type of things that uh, what are the advanced topics what are the ethical consideration how to do that data uh, pre-processing how to build the uh, models by using the pre-treated models and how to deploy those pre uh, prompt engineering models as well so now that you have covered about all kind of these things so in the next video we'll talk about the applications of these prompt engineering models in real life